Once you've defined and visualized your workflow, the next most important thing you can do in a Kanban strategy is to actively manage the work within your workflow. That means that you are not just a bystander to the process, right? The people that are participating in the process are not just sitting there looking at a piece of work going, yeah, that's not working very well and not do anything about it. The, 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 the core practice here is to actively manage. That means that if we're finding that we've got too many things going on in a particular area, perhaps we should reduce our work in process. If we've got lots of folks sitting about uh, uh, doing nothing in a particular area because we don't have enough work, perhaps we should increase the amount of work. Actively manage your whip. You want to avoid uh, uh, work piling up anywhere in your system. So if you're if you're if you're viewing if you've got your visualization of your Kanban and you see lots of things piling up before another another group another team another uh, uh, process right what are you going to do about it you can't just sit there and watch it pile up that's not going to help us maximize the flow maximize the the amount of value that we deliver we need to do something about it we need to go and figure out what the problem is we need to change our system in order to make it better um so making sure we don't have stuff pile up uh making sure something doesn't sit there for ages that's part of actively managing your work as so many teams that I work with where we start looking at this data and the first thing I'll say is why has this thing been active for 250 days right and it's something that's either fallen through the cracks or it's some kind of bucket piece of work that exists forever or it's just something that's taken a really long time because it's got blocked or we didn't understand it or any of those things why is it still sitting there? How can we make it go away? How can we move it towards completion? I, if we have a history of things taking a long time, then we need to do something about that. If, if items on your board are blocked, how are you visualizing and indicating that they're blocked, right? That was the first practice. But what are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna, just gonna sit there and go, yeah, we've got all this block stuff. Let's move on and work on something else. No, you need to actively manage the blocked items. How do we unblock them? How do we unstick them? How do we get them moving through the system again? It's, it's kind of like having, having a pipe. If the pipe gets clogged, right, with whatever it is that's clogging the pipe, it's difficult for other things to move around it because our attention is, is continuously pulled in different directions. So we want to actively work to get rid of those blockages, right? Anything that's blocked, anything that's slow moving and getting old sitting there and anything uh, that is piling up, right? As, uh, something that's stuck and usually things pile up behind blocked stuff, right? All of those things are required for you to be actively managing your work in a Kanban strategy. If you're struggling to implement a Kanban strategy, we can help or help you find somebody who can. Click on the link below and get in touch.